every morning the sun will rise stretch your arms and kiss the sky to say hello 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 everyone, I am Lewis, you are watching Lost in Travel and welcome on here to the penultimate episode of my adventures around Malta, the Isle of Sicily and the Amalfi Coast. Last time I disembarked from my voyage across the Tyrrhenian Sea, having arrived in Italy's largest port town, Naples. Napoli is a vibrant and magnificent town filled with epic sights and good food. However, I still had to itch for a day trip, hence where this vlog was born. Today, I left Naples on a train heading for Salerno. So guys, welcome on here to Salerno. This is a very last minute trip planned, but I'm just spending the whole day in this beautiful city. It's been somewhere I've always fancied going out to. I think one of those very secretive places here on the Amalfi Coast or just outside the Amalfi Coast. But anyway, I've been doing some research on the train journey here and it's about an hour and a half from Naples and we've turned up here just on the west coast of mainland Italy and actually there's a lot more here that I thought there was going to be so let's take you all around and show you what there is even though there seems to be some cycling event on right now I don't know what is happening ah there's a decathlon happening just a two minute walk from the train station and I can already see why I've chosen Salerno wow the mountain range here is so beautiful there's nothing better than drinking Fanta lemon on a day like today So I'm just currently walking down the pier line heading in towards the main city of Salerno and I've got to say this is one of the best walks I've done on this entire trip. It's just a nice straight narrow line, you get some shade if you want, you go up to the water if you want, but most of all you get to see the traditional style of Italian architecture with the houses just dotted all over the cliffside. It's looking proper Amalfi Coast right now. So I've now just left the promenade bit of Salerno. God, that's a long walk and God, loads of people are just having fun and chilling out by the beach, relaxing, maybe going for a dip in the water. It's the Amalfi Coast, baby. We can do what we want. I think the UK should make some one stool benches for the introverts of our society. I've always wondered what is the main reason why places like Italy just built on top of all the hilltops and on the hillside and on top of cliffs and the side of cliffs and just in very awkward places and I guess first and foremost it's probably because you can fit more in build higher you can have people lower up levels you know but you just look at some of the buildings and you're like how in the world do you get your car there so yeah if you know please just drop a comment let me know why the infrastructure of Italy is the way it is, especially here on the Amalfi Coast. Okay guys, my legs may not thank me for this, but I'm in a walking mood. I want to get some nice views over the top of Salerno. So, I'm going to walk up to this castle. Yes, that one. It takes 50 minutes to walk. Let's go. And the climb begins. Come on, let's Tired. Two minutes into the walk. Wowzers, this is my view already. The Amalfi Coast is surely one of the most beautiful places I have ever set foot on and there's a reason why I wanted to come back here. Obviously Salerno was new but I wanted to return to the Amalfi Coast because I just remember going in 2017 and the whole trip was just sublime. Like, Every little detail, I, I, I had just heart emojis just coming out of my eyes. And just the feeling of being back here by myself, ending my first long two week solo trip here. God, Italy, you're beautiful. I, I knew there was a reason I've been here four times. <laughs> I'm not crazy, I'm just in love. So I've noticed that the majority of the walk now is primarily just following the main road. I hope that I don't come across too many cars because God, you already know what Italian roads are like and the last time I came to the Amalfi Coast I was, I was on my way to Amalfi and we took the Road of a Thousand Bends and the bus broke down at the top of this road that legit has a thousand bends. What did they do? They just make us walk down to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, um, let's hope today is going to be splendid and we're not going to have any disasters like that. When I wake up next to you 
Salerno is also a very valid place to go if you're wanting to get day trips and ferries over to places like Positano or Sorrento or Amalfi. I have done Sorrento and Amalfi, absolutely beautiful, highly, highly recommend them. I was trying to do Positano today, I was actually thinking of Salerno, it's actually my mum recommended Salerno and said why don't you go there? Um, because I was trying to find ways to get to Positano from Sorrento because it looks like one of the most beautiful places in the world, um, according to Google Images um, and my Instagram feed and I was really wanting to get there but unfortunately I don't think I've got enough time, I think I want to do a solo trip, I think I would want to be longer in Positano so I don't want to resort on buses and public transport to get me there so Positano will be done eventually but if you are going to be situated in Salerno Positano is just a ferry ride away very easy to go spend a day there but for me it was more viable to come and explore Saler Salerno first and then whenever I come back which I will because the Malfi Coast has just swept my heart swept me up under my feet I will come back to see Positano I can assure you that one I'm also coming across like derelict buildings on this hike. Look at that view though. I can think of worse places to park a moped. Also, while I was filming that, I was just fully expecting someone just to walk out of there and I would have crapped it. They all keep going into hiding, but the amount of lizards I've seen on this path and their little scurry just <laughs> gives me the creeps all the time. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Hello cow. Bonjour. No. So guys, I think this might be where I, what I was going to say was Oh god, I was going to get attacked by an Italian dog Mamma mia I think this is where I'm going to give up on this walk um, I can't see it. <laughs> any way of me getting up there and coming back down in one piece So, because there's no pavement, I'm just walking on the side of a road And I feel that's pretty dangerous with the way Italians drive like, it's all the way up there. I'm going to go back down and I'm just going to relax for the rest, I think. <sighs> Thanks for joining me so far. So I just thought on the way back down, I would just chill out here, take in the view, and eat some more of my strawberries. Mmm. Nothing better than this. And there you have it. One unsuccessful, overly ambitious mission later, and I then dragged my tired body back down the tiny Italian streets, spoke to some adorable Italian cats, and visited a rather cool Italian Dumo before heading back to Napoli to call it a night. But the adventure does continue, as next time I embark on a voyage overseas to the Isle of Presida for my final vlog of this Italian series. And I hope to see you all there. You know that life's a dance Come take my hand And fly away